Do you ever wish for something and hope it'll happen? <laughs> well, now you got a website to go to that will make it happen for you. It's called u-wish.com. Man, you know, free internet money <laughs> websites are popping up like mushrooms all over. And it's really neat because it's a, an idea that's really taken off, you know, to solve problems in our community from the community, not from some gatekeeper. Yeah. So, uh, youwish.com, that's a hyphen between you and wish, is a new site you know, that, that helps you fulfill a wish. I mean, it could be a wish like you want a new laptop for Christmas or something like that. It seems the crowd will go out and help you get that. Or to give money for a charity. You always go, gosh, why don't you know somebody give five thousand dollars to this charity? Or you want a dog park in your neighborhood. You know, this is a way to get like the neighborhood, you know, uh, who have dogs anyway, to fund something like that and show the elected official, look at I already got ten thousand dollars for the park. You know, let's let's go ahead and get it. you know so that cranky neighbor who doesn't you know think anything should be added to the neighborhood, you cut them out of the loop <laughs> and you get your dog park. Yeah. Or, or here's a neat thing a lot of people use it for is to get things to happen. You know, like you want another Stephen King novel and you quit writing. Well, see, you go on this website and say, hey, everybody give $10 you want Stephen King to write a, a new novel. Yeah? And, and then you show them this pot. You know, hey, well, this is a new novel you should write or, or a canceled TV show. Even. <laughs> or how about a new principal for the school? See, you could use the site also not for just getting money, but for just showing enthusiasm for something and get the neighborhood or the, the elected official or a company to do something. Something. Hey, look, I got 5,000 people who said we should have a new principal, you know, because they use the site for that. So it's a clever little site. It's called u-wish.com. And, and, and here's one of the founders. I interviewed him and he'll tell you all about it and <laughs> how neat this site is. You can have fun with this one. So it's uh, your Carl uh, Wargo, right? Is that how you say it? Yes, sir. But more importantly, it's youwish.com, man. <laughs> so you're gonna uh, you know, yeah, knock the wish. pants so off to all these. You got to go to you dash, dash wish. wish. Good, great. Right. You dash wish. Yeah, that's a great thing. And even your Skype has you dash wish.com. Yeah, it's a great uh, handle you got there. But it is. It's unlike any other crowdfunding site because it, it seems to me, you know, talking to you earlier that uh, this is a site, you want something, something better in your life. You know, you could wish for it and the crowd comes out and gives you money to make it happen. <laughs> that's right. Absolutely. Um, you can have all sorts of different projects on our site. Uh, anything from posting a personal wish for you, I want a new laptop for Christmas, to uh -huh. uh, hosting a, a charitable uh, project, so you're trying to raise money uh, for, for your favorite charity, to even influencing other people to do things. So if you want that second season of Firefly, you can get on <laughs> and pledge to make it happen. So and you could that money you could like give the producer or give to his favorite charity or her favorite charity or anything like that with the money. I mean that's and more importantly though you don't take any money. You're doing all this for free, right? That's right. Absolutely, we take no percentage of the money you raise. Um, you know. We've done a lot of fundraising in our past, and, and we recognize how difficult it is yeah. to raise funds and to tack on another five up to ten yeah, percent no, to do that. Seven percent or more. You know, it could terminate your project. Yeah. So we knew, we recognized immediately that it wasn't us that were bringing the pledges to the projects. It was the people who posted and the people who were passionate about them. Those were the people who were bringing the money to the project, and that's why we didn't want to take money from those people. Mm -hmm. So you, you provide the infrastructure for people to, to set this up. I mean, if you have an idea about getting a new dog park, as you were talking about, and, and, and you get all your neighbors to, who have dogs to chip in, then you got a dog park, man. Yeah, <laughs> and it's absolutely. you guys that send the check. Yeah, a absolutely. Now, you can, you can post all sorts of different projects, but, you know, it, the, the point is that People want stuff, you know, they, they want to they want to change the world, maybe yeah. not in a big way. You know, maybe they're not you're doing it politically. They're not attacking the global warming right. project, but they want something in their park. They want something at their kid's school. They, they want, you know, that book, that second mm -hmm. sequel book from their favorite author that, you know, maybe it didn't do 
tremendous in the mass media market. You know, uh, the, the point is people want stuff and we're designed to help them do it. Yeah. So in other words, like a, a, a book. So you want Stephen King to write a novel on something. Uh, you get enough people on, on, on u-wish.com that, you know, throws in 10 bucks a piece because they want that thing. So now you got a pot of cash you know, to show Stephen King, hey, this is how important this is, and, yeah. and you should <laughs> write this sucker. Right. No, you're right, because that eliminates the gatekeepers. Now Stephen King's going to some somebody in New York, one guy sitting in a big cigar and saying, no, no, you don't want this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. See, uh, that's what you wish is all about. We want to empower the little people like you or right. me to collaborate to fund a reward for the actions from somebody else. So, you know, basically before, you could only really do this if you were, you know, rich, a company, right. a government, you know, that, that's the way that you could reward people. Now, if you want something to change at maybe your local park, you can post a wish for it okay. to do it. Contractors can look at that. So, you know, absolutely, I, I can do that. Yeah. You know, it's it's cutting out essentially a middleman or a lot of the bureaucracy that can be involved. It's people who feel passionately about things can get on and, uh, you know, funnel their support, um, learn about what other people are passionate about. You know, we provide that location. But it's more importantly to me is that it's not if you were rich you can do it yourself, but that's only pleasing yourself, you know, and that's not fun. But now you're pleasing a community, and you know how big that community is that wants to be pleased. So it's not just a selfish act. Yeah, I, I want Stephen King to write it, and I'll write him a check to do it, and you're the only one, you know. But you show, I mean, you're you're pleasing so many other people. Yeah, you know, I mean, to me it was. And what's interesting is that local government officials can use this too, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so if you if you were uh, if you had a couple things that you were thinking about getting support for, and maybe maybe you didn't want to bring them to the tax ballot, or maybe you were looking for new ways to to raise revenue in your community, this is a way to do it. This is the way. So if you wanted that dog park, mm -hmm. and you were that politician, yeah. you could post this project. You could you could essentially crowdfund for the funds needed to do it. So you're getting the money from the people who have dogs, the people yeah. who are passionate about, as opposed to taxing the people who don't have dogs. Right, that old cranky passionate. neighbor who doesn't want anything. Yeah, you know. Right, <laughs> they don't have to put a Absolutely. nickel in there. <laughs> Absolutely. So it's definitely a way to kind of touch base with your community, uh, yeah. especially if you're a politician. Yeah. But also, I mean, you say it's a way to, to get a sense of community feeling by not raising money, but you could use the site to just get a sense of how many people like this, right? And, and this would be a way to describe it. Uh, and then you have data and maybe go back and, and talk to the politicians about raising money or something. Or, or show the data to Stephen King or somebody to write that sequel. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> so we, unlike a lot of other uh, crowdfunding sites, we have the ability to um, support a project without having right. to do so financially. So, yeah. of course, you can do the financial one. Right. That's the pledge. Right. But we also right. have the heart. Um, and the heart's on every, it's a little red heart, right. it's on every single project, <laughs> no, I see it there. and if you, uh, if you click on that, it essentially just tallies your vote, and yeah. only one vote per, you know, email on there, so right. if you were trying to gain support for something, like, we, we want Stephen King to write this book, and, you know, heck, even Stephen King could use our site, hey guys, <laughs> I'm either going to write this book or right. I'm going to write that they book. They got to decide. They want to make other people. We all want to make somebody else happy. Yeah. So, I mean, but you're you decide you're, you're, what to give you. Right. And, and you're, but the stuff on your site, man, is stuff I've never seen anywhere. <laughs> you know, somebody to sing a song, the first song on a radio station. All the neat stuff. I mean, <laughs> it's just wonderful stuff to look at. And, and yeah, you guys I, been at I it for a year. A representative from uh, that wish is for Jack FM. I, I met for a representative with him, and their thing is, you know, we don't take requests. And I you know, it's just thought, like, how much fun would it be to crowdfund all this money, maybe for a charity, for them to take yeah. that one request? You know. <laughs> well, wonderful, Carl. Thank you for being. There. It's u-wish.com, right? That's and right. The, uh, so once again, we're, we're free to use, and we don't take your money unless your project uh, comes true. So it's so free you have forever. to fulfill the wish to get the money, right? That's, That's right. the only site doing that, right? Absolutely. Well, good for you, making all the rest of the piece, people honest. That's right. <laughs> take care.